brother, it's a long road. Try to pull him right up. Okay, back up. There you go. Okay, take it out. Hold him. Right, tell him about this, where we are and what's happened. All right, we're down here on Silver Lake in Delaware, and uh, we're throwing this dirty jig with the Mega Claws trailer up underneath these bridge pylons where the cars are driving over. You gotta kind of stand over, you gotta skip it back up underneath the pylon. And we're about uh, 500 yards away from the Atlantic Ocean on the boardwalk here. It's a so little rocky drop and you just have to feel it and wait for the tap. Then what you do, you just reel down and set some slack. This uh, is a dirty jig with a Mega Claws trailer on the back. Right after we got out of Red Mill, getting ready, just killing some time in the evening. Got tourists riding along, bicycles, little tourist uh, wagons pulling people around, people jogging, bicycles, right on the highway, right in Rehoboth Beach. Okay, there we go, Mr. Jigfish, right here at Silver Lake. Jonathan's first Silver Lake Jigfish. Now here we are at Silver Lake. I, I went, took him up to the end dock after we caught those other ones at the bridge. And Jonathan, tell him what happened when I skipped a shaky head worm underneath the dock. Uh, light wire hooks bend easy. Yeah. And how much does that fish weigh, you think? Six pounds? Yeah. And it bent the shaky head hook completely straight and pulled out as I tried to drag him up through the shallows. Okay, here we are down at Silver Lake. This is the second day. Jonathan Miller, Steve Von Brandt for the Bass College. Jonathan's going to work here for about four hours before he heads back to Western Maryland. Nice bass, buzz bait, early in the morning, right down by the Atlantic Ocean, man. 50 yards away from the crashing waves on the beach and we're catching largemouth bass on buzz baits. All right, let's get this one off and let's go get some bigger ones. more man. Right here at Silver Lake. Sorry Clooney and uh, Sean and the rest of you and Mark. Don't beat your fish up bud. We call these saltwater bass. This is your uh, first uh, look at saltwater bass. <laughs> they're not really. This is nice. They're just a school of them. I had one on that bigger, bigger, hooked right here in three inches of water at the shore on a chatterbait and got off just a few seconds ago. Look at that baby. Look at that. Oh, yes. All right. Let's let this one go. Let's get some more. Right there on the buzz bait. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's nice. Very, very nice. Here we go. That's a big, pretty large, pretty Look at that. <laughs> All right. Damn thing, they're hitting like right at the shore. Right at the shore, man, in three inches of water. <laughs> Wait till the six, seven pounders hit it. That's a little one and that quarter. Yeah, almost two pounds. Oh, they're fat. They're eating they shad in here. There's billions of shad in here, white perch and stuff, and carp minnows. Let's get him back in. Go get some bigger ones. Hit right at the shore. Right at the shore, yeah. So cool. This is good. Oh, that's four or five pounds, isn't it? Oh my God, you can't drag that in. That's four and a, that's four and a half pounds. Four pounds. But still, <laughs> look at that. Oh, look at this baby. Man, they're on a buzzbait fight today. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get some bigger ones. <laughs> Too small. <laughs> Only four. Let's go get some fives and sixes here. Jonathan Miller, pro staff here for the Bass College down at Silver Lake having a little fun before he heads back to Western Maryland, be on the FLW tour, be up at uh, Lake Champlain next, right? Yep, June 25th. All right. That's, yeah, that's pretty big. Not giant, but four, another four. three and a half, three and three quarters, almost four. Look at that. <laughs> Look at the size of these boys. Yeah, isn't this nice? Oh, that's a good bass. Imagine in the spring, that's like almost five in the spring. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Hold that up there. 
Oh yeah, look at this boy. Oh yes. Oh yes. Well, we have a limit now of uh, 16 pounds in uh, 17 minutes. Nice. Hold him up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Now let's go work the real docks and catch the big ones, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. This is pretty big. Easy, that's really big. That's five five pounds, six pounds, isn't it? Four and a half pounds. Look bigger than that in the water. Just go get it. Oh my god. Hmm. Now tell him where he was on that buzz bait. Just like the other ones. Now we've moved down around the lake, but he was right like what have been two, three inches of water on the rocks? Yeah, we're parallel on the shore. Yeah. That's where they're at. Look at that, hold that up. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, nice. Oh yeah, you've got the five fish limit now of uh, 19 pounds uh, in an hour and five minutes. Giant, giant fish all over the place. Hot on a buzz bait Hot bite, on bud. <laughs> There we go. Uh, Jonathan's working the bridge with the buzz bait. I'm throwing a dirty jig, just fooling around and threw the dirty jig with the groundy bass up into these marsh weeds and then picked up one of the smaller fish. But could have easily been seven or eight pounds. But nice one. Get, get That's five pounds or better. You better be careful there. You're going to lose him. Lose him. That's a big fish. Get down there. You're going to lose it. Pull the whole log in. Pull the whole branch up, and then until you can get him. There you go. You got him now. There you go. That's decent. Not five, about four, four, four. and a half. Yeah. But uh, really nice. Hold him up there. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! Giant fish. Shit. Wow. Think we got enough yet? Good luck catching some here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty big. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. We missed one that was six pounds on the other side. We were casting from the bridge 20 feet in the air. Yeah. Because you're not allowed to go down that other place, and we were casting from the bridge at them. It's hard to set the hook when they're up that high. Yeah. Jonathan, tell them about the shallows here and how when you're working a buzz bait like this, this is a half ounce Booyah clacker buzz. And we use a seven foot medium heavy uh, cranking stick. Uh, that works real well for that. It's got a good, you know, give to it. They don't, doesn't, you know, they can really take it, doesn't pull out of their mouth. But uh, 17 pound test Berkeley trialing. But tell them about how uh, shallow these bass will go. And uh, bass everywhere, uh, you know, you don't want to kid yourself. Tell them about what you're doing here. Well, what we're doing is we're working these, <clears throat> these bank lines and it's somewhat undercut. Like you can see where there's like, looks like they've built up to make the bank and there's a lot of overhanging brush and even though it's really shallow it creates a lot of shade for the bass to get up underneath that so when you parallel the bank with your cast you just keep the buzz bait moving and jerk it a little bit so it doesn't get caught up on the stuff below I mean really in eight, inch, eight inches of water or so but it doesn't matter because the fish are so far back in this stuff that they're waiting for prey to come by like shad and ambush them so this is a great imitator and when you bring it right over their heads it just like irritates them and they just crush it yeah, in even water as shallow as five, six, seven inches. Yeah. Huh? Hold it up. Show them that. Tell them how big that really is. Six, six and a quarter. Yeah. 
That's a trophy. That's a largemouth bass. Have you ever seen them before? That's a largemouth bass. That's a trophy. Hold that rope again. You can show that buzzbait bass. Okay, come on, now that came out of water that was just three inches deep. Really? Yeah. Wow. He's up in the shallows feeding on the shad and the bait fish that have hatched. Oh. Wow. <laughs> like that? There we go. I just picked this one up on the Booyah Clacker Buzz, half ounce, white and chartreuse. About six and a quarter, maybe six and a half down here in Silver Lake. You're going to feed Steve on ramp for the Bass College. We'll see you later. Jonathan, tell them a little bit about how I really caught that bass that we just showed with the people and the kids. Well, this is the same spot that I caught the five and a quarter at earlier in this like five, six inch dank, nasty, you wouldn't think there'd be any fish in it, super shallow, but same bait, Booyah Clacker Buzz, chucking it across from one point to the other. And I guess it's like a little bit of a flat, you might have a little bit of a drop and there's a little brush you can see. And Steve just came up here, said I need to catch a bigger six and a half pounder. Whips it out there across that point, brings it back, exact same spot as the five and a quarter. Just smacks to clacker buzz, and you know we. It was, what did it sound like when uh, those 15 people with nine uh, kids that were standing? People there. were just going nuts, you know. You, they're like, "What is that? What is that? Did you catch that big of fish in here?" Yeah, yeah, you do on a clacker buzz. And what is it like nine oh, o'clock in the morning? It's got a limit times about four. Yeah. All, all limits are... We have a five fish limit of probably 23 pounds. Yeah, all of our fish are been over five pounds. Yeah. yeah. It's been a good day. I don't even know how many this is. This is so many bass, I can't tell how many it is. Dirty Jig, Grandi Bass Mega Claws. Here we are, Silver Lake. Let's get that one back in. Try and get us a couple more before you got to get out of here and head back to Maryland. Yep. Get out of here, Jonathan. We're going to head on back over to Maryland. Get ready for the MLW tournament. I've got to get ready for the Potomac Bassmaster tournament with my brother Kurt Von Brandt, Tom Wolverton, our pro staff administrator. Uh, they're in as a pro and a co angler there. Uh, so we've got a lot of things to do. We've had a great day. Jonathan's learned quite a bit here at the Bass College. We worked on chatterbait fishing and jig fishing over at the lake, and then we Turned around and did trophy fishing from the shore with buzz bait and jig. So covered a variety of techniques, caught a lot of trophy bass. And we'll both see you guys on the forum and we'll see you next time down on the water. This is Steve Von Brandt, Jonathan Miller. We'll see you guys.